I'm Evan Giesler. Um, I'm a left winger, but I could play right wing too, or center if you need me to take a draw. Um, number 15 for the Bobcats, and I'm from Naperville, Illinois, which is a suburb of Chicago. And my Twitter handle is MotherGoose005. Um, well, I've always kind of liked the number five, uh, and one year the number five was taken, uh, so I went with 15, and I kind of ended up liking 15 more than five, and just stuck ever since then. The last movie I watched was Draft Day, and it was actually a very good movie. I was definitely impressed. Got the blood pumping. Uh, I'd have to say I modeled my game after Ryan Getzlaff. It's a good one. Um, kind of a power forward. Well, first of all, he's got my number, too, number 15. But he's a power forward, not afraid to get to the gritty areas, and he knows how to bury the puck. Three road trip essentials. I'd have to go with beef jerky, Gatorade, and um, my mobile phone charger. That comes in handy. I think in the playoffs, um, it really kind of brings out the best of everybody, and you just kind of got to find that next level, um, level of compete, level of how bad you want it, how bad you want to beat the team and advance to the next round, um, and that just kind of motivates me more, I guess. And um, I've just been, you know, in the in the past, I've been fortunate enough to be playing with uh, guys who are playing just as well. I'm just a benefactor of it sometimes. Um, Patrick Kane or Jonathan Taves? I'm going to have to go with Jonathan Taves. Uh, Patrick Kane, really skilled, probably one of the most skilled guys in the league, but um, I just like the way Jonathan Taves competes, and he's a full ice player. He can play it uh, in the defensive zone. He's a, like an MVP in that sense. Uh, he knows how to score, knows how to find guys, and he makes players around him better, which is really important. Well, it was obviously not the way we wanted it to go uh, to end the year last year. Um, and that kind of fuels you in the offseason. You wanna, you never want to experience losing in Game 5 ever again. It's uh, something to tell you from experience. It's no fun. Um, but that just that kind of gets the fuel going uh, for the summer, makes you want to train harder and just chomping at the bit to get back at things and um, have a different outcome this year. Three must-follows on Twitter in the hockey world. Well, you got to go first and foremost with Paul Bissonette or BizNasty2.0. Um, he's hilarious on Twitter. He gets chirped all the time and chirps guys back. Good sport about it. It's, uh, he's really funny. Um, second, I'm going to go with my hometown guy, Patrick Kane. Just um, good, o good overall Twitter account. And he's got a lot of fake or uh, funny fake Twitter profiles that people do, and they're funny too. The last one is um, Danny Heatley, the All Star. Um, you got to follow him. That's a fake one too but uh, just hilarious. Uh, we have a young team this year, um, but you know what, you could, uh, you could, you could say that's a blessing. It's uh, guys that uh, want to compete, want to, are always um, fighting for another shift, um, making the most out of their opportunities. And um, I believe that we have a lot, of, a lot of character guys on this team, as, long as, or as well as some skill too. So um, even though we only have a few 94s, uh, I th we'll be okay. And um, we got a lot of good leaders on this team too. If you're going to get pizza in Chicago, it's got to be Lou Malnati's. Um, Giordano's is good too, but my personal favorite is Lou Malnati's. Um, got incredible deep dish pizza, and um, for those of you that haven't tried it, it's, it's life-changing. Our goals as a team this year are to win the Central Division, um, which is arguably the toughest division in the league, but I think we could definitely do that. And from there, uh, win the Robertson Cup, and um, we got the chemistry and the, the work ethic in this room to do that, I believe. Um, individually, my goals are to uh, make my teammates better players and better individuals. Um, both go hand in hand. Um, to get them the looks that they need to move on to the next level and to have everybody end up with a ring on their fingers at the end of the year.